Hey guys, what's up? Now on the way to the vegan market. It's Sunday, sunny weather here in Switzerland, Zurich, and I'm really curious to see what they have there. Um, yeah, now 33 weeks completely vegan. We'll see how long I'm still gonna be vegan. Like I said, it's a project, so I always, you know, left the option open that one day I will uh, still like eat non-vegan stuff again but what I'm sure about is that the vegan part will always be a big part of my nutrition there is nothing bad about it it's actually like one of my best experience that I ever did so and uh, yeah now in this vegan market they will promote the newest and hottest vegan products I'm sure they have a lot of uh, vegan protein there um, I also saw some vegan chocolate I'm really curious to see what that is so yeah, we'll check it out today so what else is going on in December I always do a recovery break that means I don't train for two to three weeks to let my body completely recover we are talking about muscles tendons ligaments let's say the higher your level of training the more you need a recovery break because you also have more stress on the tendons and muscles and that's why you also need the breaks because only when you have a complete break your body is able to completely recover um, and I always did a very good experience with that you never run into a plateau when you do this kind of recovery breaks because when you restart then first of all you will feel much more powerful secondly everything is completely recovered um, the muscles tendons and so on also your mind is recovered because let's say you train four to six times per week that is when you have a busy life it's kind of like a stress because you always need to think of going to the gym and you know prepare your your meals um, take care of the nutrition part and that can be sometimes a bit stressful when you're also pursuing your uh, a career next to that and that's why I really suggest you to do that for an amateur I would say um, to follow the rule of 13 that means you don't train more than 12 consecutive weeks and then you have one week of a complete break one or two weeks um, and in this week it's really important that you eat more because only then your body is actually able to super compensate or to completely recover and you do everything that is related to recovery that means you do massage um, you go to a spa place you sleep more and you eat more um, and uh, yeah this is um, for most of the people very difficult to do I remember when I started doing this first I thought okay I'm gonna lose something when I do a break uh, but actually this is not true because let's say in the long term you have less chance of getting an injury because your body is having enough recovery and also what I used to see uh, as a coach is that many people don't really feel when they have an overtraining state let's say you have tendon pain then this is a clear sign of being overtrained you are causing too much stress on your tendons and you're neglecting to do a break and if you continue over and over again to not listen to your body even though you have the tendon pain you will end up with an injury or it will be a chronic pain that will never go away completely and um, yeah this is something you need to learn that sometimes taking two steps back when you do this you will make three steps forward it's not easy uh, it takes a lot of mind work to understand this concept but out of my 14 years of training experience I can tell you that when I started doing this it was the best thing and also for the people that compete I mean you need to have a break um, and like load up your energies again to be able to do the next prep because otherwise you will not improve your shape you will get into a good shape you but you won't be better than last time 
because you didn't really let your body recover properly you know it's like neglecting signs that your body is giving so and yeah this is going on right now and in february i will start again my prep so that means my training will start end of december again but in february i will start my prep again i won't tell you now what i will prepare for but i'm very excited for that and i'm really motivated and now just using the time to recover and be ready for that um yeah so and uh, also december is a good time to spend with the family so and i always use that because whenever i'm preparing for an event i don't really have that much time i take my time for my family but i wish to have more for that but it's simply not possible if you work a lot and you train a lot and you need to prepare your meals and all that um yeah then you're just like restric restricted with your time and you need to focus on the things that really matters so but family is very important to me and i'm a family person right so now we are arriving to the vegan market and we'll check it out stay tuned so now we are going to the vegan market and i'll show you now some of zurich some parts of zurich so this is uh, the old stock market here see yeah and we are getting there so today pretty busy here in zurich it's uh getting closer to christmas and everybody is getting the christmas gifts because now on sunday it's open everywhere so people are taking the time to get the christmas gifts i don't like this time it's very stressful so i take it easy i do that during the weekdays so here we are at the vegan market so the vegan market is a christmas market that has all vegan Christmas stuff, especially sweets, but also very healthy stuff. So we'll check it out now. So here we have some chili. You can have some hot coffee here and some special Christmas wine. This is very typical for Switzerland. And here, yeah, here we have the wraps, some vegan wraps here with vegan meat replacement. I guess I'm gonna have a wrap like that after. So, and what else do we have here? Oh yeah, here we have vegan food from Tibet. See? Mmm, that looks great. So these are some more vegan burgers. And let's go inside now. So here you get some vegan sweets. Yeah. What else do we have here? So here we have a dill cocktail, tartar, vegan based. Okay. And here we have vanna cotta. Wow, this is awesome. This is the replacement for panna cotta. It has no milk inside, obviously. Bio Vita and Choco. It's also like a muesli. Looks like a muesli. Like a healthy muesli here a muesli actually with some berries inside vegan what else do we have here oh, so here we have more vegan meat replacement all vegan here so let's check this out here so this is um based on spelt and oats it has some veggies inside let's check the nutritional values here um, so this has per 100 grams 6.2 grams of protein it's a really good protein source here and all vegan okay We have some vegan spices here. Yeah, here we have sort of like hummus. 
Yeah, Pinky Thomas, right? Also vegan based. Then we have some fresh lentils that you can have here. Yeah. Awesome. And here we have some vegan soap. Here we have body. Say hi. <laughs> Cute. So let's move on here. Yeah, here we have some vegan shampoo, I think. Yeah. Also for the shampoo. Not everything is vegan. This is cool. So we ha here we have some vegan bars, right? So it's an organic apple cinnamon bar. Let's check the nutritional values here. Um, let me check. Okay, so this is rather low in protein. It's rather a carb-based bar. What else do we have here? Here we have all the bars here. This is based on cocoa, spirulina. Here we have an other bar. This is uh, based on vegan chocolate. It's like it's like a brownie. It has some raspberries inside and goji. Yeah, really cool. I like this place. Then here we have a muesli mix. It's a paleo mix with some vegan uh, protein inside. Let me check the values here. Oh, awesome. So per 100 grams you get 17 grams of protein here. Awesome. Oh, and here we have some raw chocolate with mandarin taste. Mm. Yeah, here we have different flavors. We have completely dark chocolate, vegan, the creamy one, mandarin, raspberry, hazelnut, lemon, caramel. Yeah, it's like paradise here. You get everything. Yeah, so this is gonna get my favorite stand here. Plenty of chocolate here. This is very dangerous. Yeah, here some more vegan Christmas cookies. Mm, look at that. Don't get hungry now. It's not good for the belly here, for the waistline. <laughs> yeah, so here we have stuff like um, nuts, special nuts. This is from Peru, Sacha Inchi. Ah, you see? Inchi has three times more omega-3 that's uh, fish and three times more proteins that's uh, flat. So she was saying that those are from Peru, so nuts from Peru that have a lot of omega-3 inside, so these are really healthy. So it was a premium selection, I think. So also a bit expensive. So here we have vegan wine. Not every wine is vegan. You always need to check the label because in the manufacturing process it can happen that you have animal byproducts, I think, that go into the wine. That's why you need to check the label if the wine is really vegan. So here we have red wine, then we have white wine, and there's some desert wine. This is really sweet, I don't like it personally. Let's move on. Here we have um, some vegan brownies. Those are really, really good. Then here more stuff for the Christmas tree. What else do we have here? Yeah, here we have marmalade, vegan. Awesome. More vegan spices. Some legumes here. Oh, and here we have some more 
chocolate. This is nice. So this is um, some chocolate that has matcha inside. So some green tea inside. Wow. So it's actually a sweet but made in a healthy way. Oh, here's some more chocolate. Insane. Very good. So that was a tour around the vegan market. So I guess I'm gonna get some food now. Um, my favorite are the vegan wraps. So I'm gonna have a vegan wrap now. So we'll check this out. All right guys, that was the vegan market. I just took a burger wrap. So super tasty. I'm really looking forward to get this wrap here. Mm. So it has some uh, vegan meat replacements inside based on soy. Actually, it's a soy burger. Um, yeah, so I hope you like this YouTube video. It was a short vlog today. And yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button, share the video, and yeah, we see you soon on YouTube. I'm out for today. Bye, guys. No, don't get stupid in front of the TV. Change this. It only needs 15 minutes to do a great total body routine, which I will show you now.